In England, 30-year-old Laidlaw now oversees operations at a local gym, a stark departure from his previous role as a lance corporal with the Royal Engineers. Prior to his current career path, he had been part of a privately contracted bomb disposal team earlier in the year. During a deployment in Raqqa, Syria, tasked with disarming explosives for the U.S. State Department, Laidlaw stumbled upon an unexpected discovery in February 2018. It all began with a faint noise emanating from a shattered school building, prompting him to investigate further. Following the sound through the rubble, he encountered a poignant and distressing sight beneath a collapsed concrete block, five small puppies, four of them tragically deceased. Miraculously, the fifth pup was alive, defying the odds amidst the devastation that surrounded it. Despite the trauma of surviving both the building's collapse and the explosion that caused it, the young puppy remained wary of Laidlaw, hesitant to trust the soldier who had stumbled upon her. Undeterred, Laidlaw committed to gaining her trust, leaving food and water nearby while patiently waiting for her to acclimate to his presence. Over the course of three days, a bond of trust gradually formed between them. Convinced the puppy was male at first, Laidlaw named her Barry. It was only later that he discovered she was female, but by then, the name had stuck. In an interview with the Daily Telegraph on November 7, 2018, Laidlaw reflected on their profound connection, sharing, I feel like it may appear that I saved Barry's life, but I truly believe she saved mine. Together, they provided each other solace during dark and challenging times, their bond a testament to the enduring power of companionship and resilience. Amidst the challenges of working in a war-torn region, Laidlaw found solace and companionship in Barry, his steadfast canine companion. Reflecting on their bond, he shared, working in a war zone, coming back to camp you sit in your room on your own. To have a companion you can play with and train, it kept my mind away from all the things I was seeing and doing out there. The routine of training Barry and taking her for walks became a lifeline for Laidlaw, offering a semblance of normalcy amidst the chaos of Syria. You can only imagine how bad Syria is, Laidlaw explained, and to be able to come back to the camp and train her for three hours, take her for a walk. Things like that really took my mind away from where I was. Barry's presence was more than just a distraction. She became Laidlaw's constant companion, sharing his daily routines and providing emotional support. She stayed with me all day, every day, Laidlaw recounted. She did jobs with me. I'd wake up, she'd come eat with me. She'd then sit in the passenger seat of my car when we drove to Raqqa. In return, Laidlaw ensured Barry was cared for and comfortable using resourcefulness to create makeshift toys and accessories for her. I made her a toy from an old pair of jeans, he mentioned, illustrating the lengths he went to for her well-being. I even fashioned a harness out of material from a bulletproof vest for our walks. Their bond deepened over two months, but in April 2018, Laidlaw's plans were unexpectedly altered when he was ordered to remain in England. Concerned for Barry's welfare, he swiftly contacted War Paws, an organization dedicated to rescuing and relocating dogs from conflict zones like Syria. Describing the moment he learned of his extended stay, Laidlaw recalled, I thought there might be a security issue. But then I got a call that night saying the contract is canceled and that everyone is being sent back home. His immediate priority was ensuring Barry's safety and reunion with him in England. I put the phone down and immediately called the charity, Laidlaw recounted. I didn't think of anything else and tried to see how I could get Barry home. The logistical challenges of vaccinations, quarantine, and bureaucratic hurdles delayed their reunion by seven months, a period fraught with anticipation for both Laidlaw and Barry. Finally, after what seemed like an eternity, the day arrived when Laidlaw and Barry were joyously reunited. It marked the end of a long and uncertain journey, culminating in the resumption of their inseparable companionship on home soil. Their story serves as a testament to resilience, loyalty, and the profound bond between human and animal forged amidst the trials of conflict and separation. Laidlaw's journey to reunite with Barry took him all the way to Paris, where War Paused facilitated their emotional reunion. Despite his anticipation, Laidlaw admitted to having apprehensions. One of my biggest fears was that she wouldn't recognize who I was, he confided to the Daily Telegraph, or that she would be a different dog from the girl I left behind. However, his fears quickly dissolved as recorded footage captured their heartwarming reunion. Barry's reaction was unmistakable. She remembered Laidlaw. The reunion was filled with palpable emotion, mutual recognition, and plenty of belly rubs for Barry. It was pure joy when she realized who I was, Laidlaw recounted with a smile. She's exactly the same as she was back in Syria. 
For Laidlaw, having Barry back meant more than just companionship. It brought a sense of stability and comfort to his life. It was just great to have my dog again, he expressed gratefully. Now their days together are far removed from the hectic pace of Syria, offering a slower, more relaxed rhythm. Everyone else has their routines. My parents and girlfriend are at work, but when I come home, I know I have my dog waiting for me. She's always there. Reflecting on their bond, laid long used, I think as soon as Barry and I bonded. Where I could pick her up, she became my dog. Their connection goes beyond mere ownership. It's a testament to the profound impact animals can have on mental health, especially in coping with conditions like PTSD. Having a companion like a dog is one of the best things for dealing with PTSD, Laidlaw asserted. A dog always brings happiness and always wants to be with you. Their story highlights not only the resilience of animals in the face of adversity, but also the healing power of unconditional love and companionship in overcoming life's challenges. Laidlaw and Barry's journey serves as a poignant reminder of the enduring bond between humans and their faithful canine companions.